Come on everybody, let's go start our day. If you're ready, I'm ready, let's do this. videos come out also everybody give this video a big thumbs up so guys today I am gonna try and do an all uber eats and grub hub day just to kind of see what those two mixed together might actually bring to my area because I'm still semi new to grub hub I feel like I still haven't like gotten like yay grub hub behind it so Uber Eats is a slower app for my area than DoorDash, so I want to see if two of them combined what the combination actually brings today. I'm starting a little on the late side. I'm starting at 12 and I'm normally starting around 11, so we'll kind of see what today brings. So guys, that's my plan for today. I already have my first order. It is actually Grubhub. It's $15.11. It's, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna guess a good guesstimate. It's going eight miles. It's going to my other side of town. So when I always say that, like my town, if you look on the map, it's like really long and skinny and like the miles to um, the distance is really long, but it's still the same town. It's kind of weird. But anyway, I always say I'm going to the other side of town because it's so long that they have a north side and a south side and I'm on the north side. But anyway, now that I gave you a geography lesson on my town. So anyway, I have to take the New Jersey Parkway to get there. So I never actually mind going there because if you do take the parkway, A, you don't play for tolls just to go the two exits because it's in the same town but it's like highway driving. So sometimes it's quicker to do the longer miles going on the parkway than some of my shorter distances that I take. So I am ready. I'm gonna go grab our Kitchen and Organic and we'll be on our way. and you know your pay up front, you know your miles up front, like that would be a huge game changer in the gig world, especially for Grubhub. So Grubhub, if you're listening, roll it out to the entire nation because it's something that all the drivers are looking for, just saying. So leave me comments. Did you guys see this today? Do you already have this? Is it rolled out? Let me know your thoughts, whether it's a good thing, bad thing. I think it's fantastic if that's the case. I'm a little jealous, I have to say, that someone else has this and I don't have it. So leave it in the comments. I would love to hear what you have to say. Okay, so my next order is 
Duncan, $7.88. So I'm going to guess it's like three and a half miles. Once I get to Duncan, it's literally two lights. The drop off is only two lights away from Duncan. So easy breezy, nice and easy order. So I am on my way to Duncan. Okay, next order is another local Chinese restaurant. It took me almost three miles to get to the restaurant. Once I get the order, it's probably another three miles to drop off, but it's still staying within the same area. So the order is for $19.50. So heck yeah, that's an awesome order. So I am going to the Chinese place to go pick up this next order. Okay, so so far Grubhub has been my winner this afternoon. I did turn off Uber Eats the first two Grubhub orders that I did, but the last two I just left it on just to see if offers would actually come in and I haven't had a Uber Eats offer come in yet. So I will say when I say know your area, know your area because my area, Uber Eats in the afternoon, it, it's it's slow and the orders are very few and far in between so but that's just my area i'm a better uber eats um area at night than the end afternoon oh speaking of uber eats is coming in right now and sorry i'm not, speaking of and no i'm not gonna take it so i only have like literally 15 minutes left before 2 o'clock before I end and this will just take me way past the time because it's going like the opposite direction so it's not that bad it's six dollars for three miles for a McDonald's but it's not my McDonald's it's on the other side McDonald's so anyway it's been a Grubhub afternoon but I'm not complaining so hey at least I know uber works now <laughs> I was a little concerned like is uber not working so let me go do this last drop off and maybe I can squeeze out one small order before I head home for the afternoon. <laughs> and 
including where I was at. I'm like, oh my god. So I like dropped the bag and took a picture and like ran for the car. <laughs> but the probably the look on my face that if we could have captured it was probably absolutely ridiculous because it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> so my next daughter, moving on, is Urban Cole House, my pizza place. It is literally it looks like if you zoom on the map like a couple of blocks away from where the restaurant is so just a matter of me getting from the customer's house where I was at to Urban Coal House so I'm gonna say it's like two miles and then it'll probably be maybe a mile so a three mile order total so not bad for a nine dollar order so I'm on my way to Urban Coal House to go into Bubba Coos. So my next order is Applebee's $10.91. Half of it is actually getting the Applebee's. One that gets Applebee's, it's easy breezy and it's kind of right up the road. So I am on my way to Applebee's for another Grubhub order. Okay everyone, so here is my nine o'clock update. I think I was so excited that an Uber Eats order came. I just kind of took it because it was an Uber Eats order, but it is $16.82. It is, I think it's gonna take 29 minutes for 9.1 miles. It's a local sushi place. So uh, I took the order and I'm about ready to get my butt going to the sushi place. But I think I was just so excited that I actually got an Uber order. So maybe this is all like a uh, start to a roll with Uber, I don't know, but it took until nine o'clock <laughs> to get my Uber order. Go figure, I guess it just wasn't an Uber day, so, or maybe it is and it's just starting. I'm always thinking positive, I, I got nothing for you. I'm a glass half full type of person. <laughs> so anyway, I am on my way to the sushi place to go pick it up and we're gonna continue on. <laughs> Okay, you guys, it is time for me to call it a night. It was a really a fun day doing a different mix of multi-apping. Um, it was my first time doing Grubhub and Uber Eats combined. To me, it was just a typical Monday in my area. I don't know what else to say besides that, but door, oh my God, DoorDash. Wow, listen to me. <laughs> I didn't even do DoorDash today. Oh, Grubhub was dominating the day. So guys, let's get right in to the numbers of today. So Grubhub, I did $144.93. And then with Uber Eats, I did $23.86. So my total for today was $168.79. I worked seven hours today, so on an average, I did $24 an hour. And then as far as deliveries are concerned, I did 12 Grubhub orders, and then I did three Uber deliveries, so a total of 15 deliveries all together. So on an average, I did $11.20 a delivery. And guys, those are my totals for today. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and make sure those alerts are turned on so you know when my newest videos are coming out. Also, everybody give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to also leave me comments. I love hearing from each and every one of you. And then also don't forget to share my channel and the share button is right down below. So don't forget to click that share button. And then guys, that's it for today. If you are driving, please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Remember, kindness is always free. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.